Hello, everybody, and welcome to Belly Dance for the Complete Beginners series. And today we're focusing on the horizontal circle. No beginning, no ending, no separation, oneness. Yes. So get into something comfortable, and let's belly dance. Let's start with the breath. Let's expand the heart, expand the lungs, breathe out. And as you breathe out, ah, relax the arms on your wings, the shoulder blades, bring your arms down, keep your chest lifted, chin up. Good. And now let's find our center balance. So let's go and put our feet just underneath the hip and put the weight on the arc. Okay, again, try not to get the weight too much on the heel. Find your center right on the arc of the feet. Okay, let's go into our slides. And again, if you haven't done the slides um, movement, please look back into the video in the playlist and review that before you get into the circles. And let's slide to the right. We're going to follow the doom, slides, and slide. Now again, the range of motion, if you find strain on the lower back, I got to remind you that the movement has to be comfortable and don't force the movement. If you find discomfort, make that movement smaller. Okay. Now from the slides, I'm going to go into a forward and back movement. So we're going to go forward and when you're going forward, you might use the glutes to kind of help you, the big muscles here, to bring your pelvic towards the ball of your feet, okay? So right now find your center, put the weight mostly on the arc of your feet. Now let's go forward, you can squeeze your glutes, go on the ball of your feet, but not too far that you're going to fall, okay? So keep yourself centered, okay, keep yourself in balance. And now let's come back to the center and then put the weight on the heel, okay? So when you're going on the heel, you might be hinging a little bit towards the hip, not the back. The, the back, it goes forward a little bit, but it goes just far right, okay? So now let's go all the way to the front, squeeze the glutes if you have to, to push a little bit more to the front, and then bring it towards the center, then on the heel towards the back. You can hinge a little bit, and forward, center, back, center, forward, center, back, center, forward, center, back. Center, forward, center, back. Center, forward, center, back. And again, center. Now we're going to combine the forward and back movement with the slide. You ready? So let's follow the dooms. So we're going to go first doom to the right, second to the front. And then third to the right side and then back. And we go. Front, side, back. Front, side, forward, side, put the weight on the back on the heel. Now smooth this out. So it's like you had a hula hoop and you could hold a hula hoop and try to rub and it's a very small hula hoop okay it's a it's a child hula hoop okay and you want to rub inside of that hula hoop and we're going to switch direction so let's go 
to the front, towards the left, back, right, I mean left. Follow the dooms. Forward, side, back, take your time. Notice my knees are not locked. They're soft, I'm not straight like this. I have a little flexibility inside of my knees. Okay, good, check it out. And now we're gonna go into our chest area. Okay, so let's go into our slides. You can put your hands here. And just like you did with your pelvic, you're gonna bring your chest forward and back. So, you're gonna go forward. If you want to, instead of bring the whole upper body, again, it's like you have a puppy here, but it's pulling your chest to the front. Okay, and then back. So now it's like, pulling a piece of that here towards the back of your spine and then it's pulling you back. But you notice that your upper abdominal is gonna contract to help you push your rib cage towards the back. And that's what you want. You want the muscles here to help you to move towards the back. And it's also, if you wanna visualize, it's like, you know, let's say you have a big piece of furniture, it's a closet furniture, but it's a movable one. And you wanna just kind of push against the back, okay? so. We're gonna go forward and back. It's very small. Even if you, this is all you could do, that's fine. But you'd be able to go back a little bit more by using these muscles and then release when you go back to center. Back, center, a little bit to the front, and then center, back. And you notice when you're going back, the weight's a little bit more on the heel, but you're still on your arch. And then back to the center, and then a little bit to the front. Now, if you want to in the front, you could kind of press your shoulders to kind of push your chest to the front. You could bring your shoulders back to help you. Okay, and then center. And notice when you're going back, your shoulders does round to help you to kind of go towards the back a bit more and then relax back to the center. And then when you're going forward, you can squeeze your shoulder blades to kind of, and the shoulders going towards the back to move it a little bit more to the front. Center, back center, front, center, back, center, front. Notice my shoulders. Mostly when I'm going forward, I'm really pressing my shoulders to the back to kind of move my chest forward. Now we're gonna try and combine this together. You ready? So we're gonna start with the slide, going towards the right, slide. And now push forward, okay? Bring your shoulders back and bring yourself to the front and then slide and then back, going to the back. So push back, contract the upper ab and slide, front, slide, back. Slide, front, slide, back slide front now this is something that you could do sitting down and it's be really good because you are isolating the chest area the rib cage area because what happens if this is really tight the hip wants to help you or the body always wants to help you but the lower body is going to get engaged to kind of really help you push but we don't really want that okay so we want this not to move and just focus on the upper level okay so now let's go the other way slide to the left and forward push your shoulders back and slide to the right and back slide forward and slide back slide forward slide back slide forward slide back slide forward slide back, slide, forward, slide, back. And this is your horizontal circle, your ribcage area. 
Now we're gonna go to our upper highest level of your body, which is gonna be the neck, okay? So we're gonna do this same movement. We're gonna put our hands together. So this is, this is something you see a lot in India, and we do it also in the Middle East and Egypt. Um, so we're gonna go slide, we're gonna do our slides. We're gonna slide, slide first, center, slide to the left, center, ear to the right elbow, center, ear to the left elbow, center. Don't forget your posture, make sure that your body is on the arc of your arch, on your arch of your feet. Always tune it to tune to that body posture. It's really important that you always keep that in mind. Now we're gonna go forward and back. Chin forward and then bring it back to center. If you can, you can go all the way back. Center forward, center back. If you can't go all the way back, that's fine. You can just keep yourself centered and then forward, center. So what I'm trying to do is not move this at all, but I'm trying to bring my head away from my hand prayers and then towards the back, okay? Woo, that really opens up the flow into my head all the way. It's fine. I feel much tension just releasing. Now, ear to the right, then side to the front, then side to the left, and always the back. And circle. Now, switch the other way to the left, forward, right, back. This is very good for your neck to open up um, if you have any subluxation in the neck which is not, just kind of helps to kind of release that. Okay, shake it out, shake it out, shoulder shift. Shake it, shake it, shake it, relax. Okay, I'm gonna put this all together. All right, a horizontal circle, and actually I wanna add a little something to this. So we're gonna add the horizontal circle on basic pose, you're gonna go forward and back. Actually, there's a few more that I add. You want to add this is more like a medium circle because this circle is actually going outside of the rib cage you're kind of drawing a circle outside of the rib cage the cage is here and you're kind of drawing that circle outside let's switch the other way we're going to go into the big circle so this really draws a circle outside the whole upper body now in order to do that we need to kind of Flex the knees a little bit more. And we're gonna do a little bit more of a bigger hinge. So let's just do the slide by bending the knee. So you're gonna slide, but then bend the knee and see how your slide goes even deeper. Now straighten the knee, bring it back to center. Slide and then bend the left knee. Just go as far as you can with comfort. Again, I'm gonna emphasize on that. And back to center. Slide, bend the knee. Slide, bring it back to center. Slide, bend the knee back to center. One more time. Slide, bend the knee, back to center. Slide, bend the knee, and back to center. Now we're gonna do that forward and back, but going back, we're gonna go even more back. We're really gonna hinge. And again, when you're hinging, it's all from here. It's not coming from the back at all. It's coming from here. And the upper body just goes the opposite way. It has no choice, okay? It levels down. So. Let's go here, I'm gonna hinge as far as you can, right on the back, go back, 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 from here, push back, from, and now hold it here. So nice little stretch too. And then bring it back to the center. We're gonna go forward just a little bit to the front, not too much, and then back to center, and then let's hinge from here, hinge, 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 hinge. The legs will stay straight for this. Hinge, go as far as you can, and bring it back. Again, working from here, and then forward. Center, hinge back, and bring it back in. We're gonna put this all together. So, we're gonna start going to the right. You're gonna slide, bend that knee, and then this is when you start hinging, right here. So you're gonna hinge, and then pretend there's a concave wall behind you. So you're like in a barrel, and in the barrel, you're rubbing your glutes as you're hinging all the way back, hinge, 
and rub your bellow, uh, rub your butt against the barrel. And then you're gonna come around to the corner of the concave wall, and then you're gonna bend that left knee. Okay, and then as you go up, you're gonna come come up, and you're gonna kind of push a little bit to the front. So that's your circle. It's kind of your medium circle into doing a large circle towards the back. You hinge, rub your glutes against the barrel all the way around the corner and then bring yourself up and keep the circle. Don't stop the circle. Side, hinge, rub. Going on the other side and bring yourself up. And that's your large circle. Now we're going to go the other way. So let's go left, bend the knee a little bit, hinge and rub your buttocks against the barrel around the corner, and then medium circle to the front. This is my favorite circle. It's a nice stretch at the same time, such as the hamstring and the lower back. All right, so we got large circle, medium circle. Let's go to a smaller circle. So bring your feet underneath your hip. I'm gonna try and do this circle mostly underneath the ribcage. So it's like small slides, very small. And then forward and back. So bring your pelvic towards front of the ribcage and then in the back. Okay, so it's very, very small. Now we're going to put this together. Slide front, right, back. So it's very subtle, very small. Feels good. Switch the other side. So slide to the left, front, slide, back, slide, front, slide, back. Wonderful. Okay, now our last uh, circle in our classical pose, which is bring our left heel off the floor, my left foot, it's your right heel, okay? You're putting all the weight on your left. So the, the weight, a lot of weight, I would say 90% is on your left foot. Try to keep it on, again, centered on the arch of your foot. And then you're gonna put about 10% of the weight on the ball of your right foot, okay? But I don't want you to bring your heels down. It stays there. Thighs are close together. So we're gonna add the slides, okay? And we're gonna go forward and back. So we're gonna go slide, bring it in, back to center. Slide, bring it in, and back to center. Slide, bring it in, and slide, bring it back in. Little slide. Now we're gonna go forward and back. Forward. So you're gonna push the pelvic, but we wanna focus on the hip, but the whole pelvic is gonna go forward. So no worries. Forward, center, and pull back. Forward, center, then back. So forward, center, and back. Now we're gonna combine this together. So you're gonna go forward, slide, back to center. Pull it back into the center, back on the new cage. Forward, slide, back, center. So you're drawing, if you would have, if this leg was just a pencil, you would draw or not the leg, but the hip, and it had no leg, you would draw a circle, a horizontal circle. Now we're gonna switch, we're gonna go back, side, forward. Back, slide, forward, in back slide forward in back 
slide, pour it in and shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out. Good. I'm gonna repeat on this side, same thing. I'm gonna add the slides. Again, soften your standing leg. Okay, put about 10% weight on the ball of your foot, that heel stays up on releve. So we're gonna go slide, pull it in. Slide, and again, it does, it's not gonna be a big, it's not gonna be big, it's gonna be small, subtle. Now, pelvic forward, center back. Center forward, center back. Now let's go forward, slide, back, center. 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 Forward, slide. Now switch, we're gonna go back, slide, scoop it forward, and back, slide, forward, center, 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 shake it out. All right, we're gonna go into a medium circle and then into the horizontal hip circle. We're gonna go and start going to the right, forward, left, back. And because we're going to the left, our direction is towards the left, we're gonna do the hip circle on the left side. We wanna keep that um, counterclockwise circle. Okay, so we wanna keep that flow. So now, slowly, we're gonna start shifting the weight on the right foot and keep the circle. And now it's mostly focusing on your left hip. And then from there, we're gonna go into a large circle. Still going towards the left. It's forward, bend, back, and slide. Good. One more. And now let's make it small. And now I'm gonna switch direction. Medium circle going left towards the right. And now we're gonna go into the left, uh, your right hip and keep going. From the hip to the large circle, it's front, right, hinge, around the corner. One more. Get ready, we're gonna go into the small circle. Bring your feet closer together, and small. Chest one more time, slide to the right, front, left, back. When I do the chest, my breath just expands even more, like I just feel my heart really opens. We're gonna go and switch the other way. And this week, Practice the one that kind of resonated with you the most. Master that movement. When it comes to the chest, again, a good way of doing this is when you're putting your hands on a table and you really, and you're sitting down, you can take a break from here and just kind of open this up. Breathe and release. You have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.